Welcome to the Succulent Home with me, Melissa. Let's go ahead and start potting up this beautiful, beautiful cacti, but could be also any phobia. <laughs> this is what happens when you're a beginner like myself. Sometimes, and then you're, I know you're probably saying, Melissa, I've been following you for years. You're not a beginner. Listen here, Linda. Listen here, listen here. <laughs> I feel like a beginner because my schedule has been so busy. And some of you guys can relate to being so busy that you forget a lot of the simple things that made you not a beginner. And now you're back to being a newbie because you forgot a lot of things so we're gonna get back on it guys i love how they're together i'm gonna keep them together they've been in this for a long time now in my house look at the beautiful colors it's like that bluish mint green they turn really really blue please comment below if you know exactly what euphorbia or cacti this is um because i would love to continue learning and remembering a lot of the names to my collection, to my specimens. Now, I also wanna be careful to look at it really hard to make sure there's no scales because I feel like I'm seeing maybe what could look like scales. Tell me right now, please comment below. Is that a scale? Do you see this right here? That circular, it's like kind of bigger in that area, in that area. Is that normal? Or does that mean there's an infection that's starting to take place? Because if there is, I don't want to lose this one. And that means I need to be proactive fast. So I know Cactus Caffeine, I probably should reach out to her or even Emily. Because they have so much knowledge in their specimens. just packing it in there I don't know if you caught my other video of uh, me just showing you what I got in that Goodwill haul and potting up that cacti arrangement but go check that out if you haven't God is so good I've been, you know, struggling on my own in this new city sometimes with just feeling like I have so much to do with such little time, but I thank the Lord that I've been able to get into a place where I can get some strength. It says the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's what the word of God says. And let me just tell you, sometimes just putting on some worship music, just putting, repositioning your house, um, your heart to be in Thanksgiving really stirs up that joy. And instead of saying, uh, where's all the time go? I need more time. It's just saying, thank you, Lord, that I'm here in this time. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to switch it up, you know? Can't be negative. You can't be a pessimistic. We got to stop seeing the glass half empty and seeing it half full, you know? Your perception and your perspective is what contributes to your experiences that are taking place around you. Okay, so I love this terracotta pot. This does not have a drainage hole, but that's okay. Terracotta in itself is a well-draining pot to use when you're potting up cacti or euphorbia or a succulent. So just because it doesn't have a drainage hole doesn't mean, oh shoot, I don't have a drill bit to like make a hole. It's okay. This is just don't overwater. Do a light water because cacti and euphorbia and succulents, they hold on to the water on the inside. So don't overwater. Be a light, be light with your pores. And um, it should be fine because, again, this is a well drainage pot. It, the water seeps through. That's why when you water it, you see it on the outside of the pot versus a porcelain or a ceramic um, pot. 
pot. This is this is um, terracotta. This is clay, terracotta clay. Okay. So, love the broke up seashells. I love the look of these. I got these a while ago at the store Tuesday morning. That has now been shut where I live. Do you guys have a Tuesday mornings where you guys live? Because if you do, is yours shut? Because mine is. Mine is. So there goes that. I'm also going to put this little seashell right there in the front. You know me. Love a good ocean inspired. <laughs> Arrangement. There you go. Well, that was one fast arrangement, wasn't it, that we did together? Liking it, liking it, loving it. Let me see here. So let me see from your view. I've been, act, I've been liking potting in this little section, the last two pottings that I did. Okay, so that is, I like it from your view. Not too bad. Let me show you from eye level right now it might seem like you got a lot going on melissa but let's see okay do you see it from eye level it looks beautiful i don't feel like it's too much definitely has bigger seashells but i think it looks it balances it well i mean if i turn it around you see it from all angles this is the back. Could be the front if you wanted to. But I love it. I think the terracotta pot, the crushed seashells, and then the bigger seashells just really do take it to a whole nother level. It makes a basic euphorbia cacti or succulent arrangement. Um, it, just, it just brings it up a next level instead of just potting it with just soil. I love a good top dressing. I love a good accents with, you know, um, like I always say, little knickknacks or tchotchkes however you want to call them i just love that it gives like a whimsical look and feel to an arrangement even something as simple as this now this is the first one the first one going in to the greenhouse you guys it is completed i am so excited i can't wait for you to see all the new stuff that i do in here there is a little echo because nothing is open all the windows are closed in the door but isn't that going to be great i love this new space i've never had a greenhouse before yes at my old house i had a whole light basically a garden workshop area but this right here is something that is mine and all mine i can't wait to be inspired and see what god gives me to share with you well, I hope you loved this video. It was a quick little pot with me and a vlog of the progress from beginning to end. Uh, I, I skipped out on some stuff, but this is the gist of the whole greenhouse. It's done, it's completed. Now, I'm gonna show you another video where I fill it. We're gonna fill it up together. So let's continue to inspire one another. Let's continue to hold each other in each other's hearts by encouraging one another to do what God's called us to do, which is to walk in love towards others and towards people. He says in his word, faith, hope, love. The greatest of these is love. So let's continue to walk in love. Well, until the next video, I hope you loved this vlog of the greenhouse and that little potting with that e 4 b cacti go ahead don't forget to comment below thank you thank you for inspiring me thank you for hanging in there with me god bless 